Good morning, Christ and St. Luke's and friends. Father Wynn here, dressed casually because I'm off today, beginning a little bit of a long 4th of July weekend. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to morning prayer. I'm sitting out in our garden. It's a beautiful morning and it's lovely to share it with you. Today is a ferial day, which means that there are no appointed feasts or fasts today. So we'll go right into our breathing. Just close our eyes, breathe in through our nose, pause for a second, and release our breath. And release everything that is causing tension and concern or anxiety. Release it through our breath into the breath of God to allow God to do the rest. So let's take a moment, and if you're comfortable, close your eyes. We'll begin on page 80 with the Infinitory. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Continuing on page 82, We'll say together the Venite, bookended by the ordinary time antiphon. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 790, I'm sorry, is Psalm 142, found on page 798. 142, found on page 798. And I'll take a sip from my Peruvian coffee cup while you find your place. And I just wanted to remind you, I don't know if I said it at the beginning, but it is Friday, the 3rd of July. Psalm 142 on page 798. I cry to the Lord with my voice. To the Lord I make loud supplication. I pour out my complaint before him and tell him all my trouble. When my spirit languishes within me, I know my pain. In the way where I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. I look to my right hand and find no one who knows me. I have no place to flee to, and no one cares for me. I cry out to you, O Lord. I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Listen to my cry for help, for I have been brought very low. Save me from those who pursue me, for they are way, they are too strong for me. Bring me out of prison that I may give thanks to your name when you have dealt bountifully with me. The righteous will gather around me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The reading for today is from Romans 8, 
verses 12 through 17. So then, brothers and sisters, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. But if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. It is that very spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if in fact we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The canticle response is Canticle 18, found on page 93. And I'll pause again so you can find your page. Canticle 18 on page 93, A Song to the Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. We'll continue on page 97 with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages B on page 98, the versicles and responses. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in unity of spirit by their teachings, that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen colic for Fridays. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A colic for mission. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for the oppressed. Look with pity, O Heavenly Father, upon the people in this land 
who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Have mercy upon us. Help us to eliminate our cruelty to these our neighbors. Strengthen those who spend their lives establishing equal protection of the law and equal opportunities for all. And grant that every one of us may enjoy a fair portion of the riches of this land through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as the coronavirus continues to increase, a prayer for our time of pandemic. Almighty God, healer of the sick and strength of the weak, look with mercy on all those who suffer at this time. Bring healing to those who are sick, bring peace to those who are anxious, bring strength to those who care for them, and bring wisdom to our leaders, that our whole society may journey together through this difficult time with determination and generosity. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. I'll take a moment of silence for you to offer your own individual prayers and thanksgivings. We remember today on our prayer calendar those deployed, especially Ryan Irwin, Tom Hamm, Max Hazel, Matthew Quintero, David Spaulding, Catherine Schweitzer, and Rick Watson. For all healthcare workers, especially Ben Blackwood, Rob Blackwood, Beth Corliss, Rebecca Dang, Tom Grant, Glenn Jones, Robin Lee, Sarah McLaughlin, Virginia Marshall, Carolyn Moneymaker, Norwood, Bill Reed, Ted Tanner, John Taylor, and Sally Ward. We pray for our homeless and working poor neighbors whom we have the privilege of serving. We pray for all hospital chaplains, especially Deb O'Neill Lewis. We pray for military chaplains, especially Chandler Irwin, David Dupre, and Nigel Beardsley. We pray for the repose of the soul of William Wayne Reynolds, stepfather of Christopher Evans, and Leslie Owens Nest, nephew of Gail Burnick. And we pray for all those in our community facing illness, surgery, injury, or adversity, especially Lulu Alfano, Stanley Avery, Annie Blakey, Stephen Blythe, Dolly Campson, Karamine Kelly, Will Chambers, Mary Earhart, Dana Coltrane, Phil Davey, Jane Gardner, Billy Greer, Bernie Ham, Cliff Inge, Bob Latimer, Linda Matthews, Ruth Provost, Fred Quist, Jeffrey Rankin, Charles Riddle, Macon Riddle, Priscilla Trinder Rohde, Mary Smith, Ellen Summers, Emily Stewart, Judy Thompson, Ann Trailer, and Harry Trailer. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God, from generation to generation, in the church, and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. I hope you all have an absolutely beautiful day. And if you're traveling for the long weekend, know that we're praying for your safety and comfort.